we are growing. There's several different types of IoT devices. There's your home devices, your Alexa, there's your enterprise devices. Um, these are the devices that we at CDW focus on primarily is how do we connect those operational assets that you have. Uh, lots of times the data from this integrates into your CRM or your, um, your manufacturing uh, MES system. So we do a lot with those platforms to integrate that data into other systems to derive insights, to improve processes, to give you better real-time uh, insight into your tools and systems that you have. We see exponential growth in IoT, as, as, especially as AI picks up. Um, there's a lot of synergies between AI and IoT because the IoT sensor data is actually feeding that AI. It allows us to sense, think, and act about the problems that are in front of us. Um, so there's multiple use cases across multiple industries that, that we see growing very rapidly. In the industrial sector, we see IoT revolutionizing how the assets are connected, how we derive data from those systems, um, and how we improve processes and create efficiencies across the board for those systems. Better insight, real-time data, all those things are essential to, to making that transformation happen. Another segment that is doing great in this space is healthcare. Um, connected assets, connected systems. We are seeing IoT sensors help improve processes um, by knowing where the doctors are, by knowing where the assets are, by knowing how often they're used or not used. So it also has a bit of a sustainability play to it. So we see that coming forward as well. Um, but, but there's a lot going on, especially in the, in the healthcare space. We see digital twins coming together there too. So as, as we bring all that information together, we can provide better care for patients and create better outcomes. So as organizations start their journey, transformation journey for IoT, one of the key things that we encourage a lot of people to do is start with a, what are the goals you have? How do you want to transform? There's such a vast amount of emerging tech uh, coming out these days, it's actually outpacing our ability to adopt it. And so what we encourage businesses to do is to start with a goal and say, here's, here's our goal, here's what we want to solve for, and then back into the different solutions through an ideation process. Um, we, we call this our business first, technology second approach, um, which is essential. Otherwise, uh, lots of times customers get stuck in that you know, revolution and how about this data or how about that tool? Or, and, and so it, it's something that is very challenging for folks to navigate through. As we see emerging technologies take off in this space, such as AI, um, there's a symbiotic relationship between AI and IoT. Uh, the, the data that we're deriving from IoT sensors is oftentimes feeding these AI systems. So we're getting real-time intelligence to our manufacturing line, we're getting real-time intelligence to our oil and gas lines, healthcare systems, all these things are now coming to life uh, with IoT and so we're happy that we can then produce better insights uh, through those connections that we're now establishing with these new data streams. For future innovations, I believe that edge computing is something that we'll see grow rapidly here. Uh, you know, you think about the options we have for a compute today, it's either at the edge, your core data center, or the cloud. We're seeing a lot of organizations kind of tilt into that edge because they're not paying for um, the, the cloud compute. Um, they're getting better real-time response from it being at the edge so there's no latency, uh, reduced cost in networking. Um, and there's a lot of data that comes from these sensors and so what people are doing is they're actually cutting some of that data off at the edge that they don't need or they don't need to store, they don't need to process. And so we're, we're seeing a lot of folks, especially in IoT, kind of lean into that edge compute a little bit. I think that is an area that we'll see grow um, across multiple platforms, healthcare, video analytics, all the use cases that we're seeing that actually have an edge component to them. Another area that we see growing in this space is the merger between AI and IoT. Um, AI is actually fueling some of the transformations that we're seeing in the IoT space, actually getting them started, getting them off the ground because it's such a prevalent thing for people to look at and address right now. And so getting the right data at the right time helps make those solutions happen. And so we're, we're happy that uh, IoT is powering some of those AI solutions. Uh, there's actually a, you know, a phrase out there called AIoT. And so I think that's an area that I'm excited to see happen as well. The next area that I, I see and it's kind of exciting thing to, to see is actually uh, digital twins. And, and these are 
large language models that are looking at, in this particular use case, we're seeing manufacturing systems that have unconnected assets that are out there. So we're seeing companies actually upload those manuals from those old systems that they have in manufacturing into a large language model. So when there's an issue or a problem with it, they can query it and get the answer quickly. They don't have to have all the tribal knowledge that goes along with that. You know, in the future, I think there'll probably be robots that will also use that same platform and they'll predict the failure and they'll show up with the repair parts before the system fails. So we're excited to see those things come to life. So as far as strategies, how to get started, I think there's a few things. Um, one, I would absolutely invest in a modern data platform. All this sensor data has to go somewhere um, and without having a modern data platform, it's hard to stand up that system. Uh, the other thing that I think that a lot of companies need to do is, is develop a strategy, create a roadmap, create a radar chart that says here's where we want to be in five years, here's where we want to be in ten years, and here's where we want to be next week. Um, without having that strategy, it's kind of hard to, to track all the different uh, emerging tech solutions that are coming out there. And so uh, we encourage people to start with the end in mind, if you will. Um, we actually do a workshop to help people. It's focused on ROI, it's focused on technology gap, it's focused on use cases that their organization brings to us. So um, those are some of the things that we do to help clients get started. So a platform for the data, a modern data platform for, to manage the data long term, and then an integration source for those sensors.